what's up y'all this is Andrea with your 20 minute tone glutes workout grab a yoga mat a resistance band a couple of dumbbells and let's get it come on All right, welcome back to your safest space on the internet to get fit from home. I'm very proud of you for showing up to this glutes workout. I'll be taking you through four sets today, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds off, all glute focus. We'll have a activation at the beginning and then a lovely burnout at the end and I will also cool you down for a minute. Your affirmation today is I deserve everything I desire. Not one thing, not two things, not three things, okay, but everything. All right, I'll show you the first movement and we'll get started. Resistance band, I have my medium resistance band. We're gonna go for abductions. So we're gonna go right here with the right for 30 seconds and then we're going to abduct with the left for 30 seconds and we'll head straight into some deadlifts. All right, we'll go in, two, one, come on. So starting off with that abduction, nice straight leg. I'm using my medium, but you can use your light or the heavy. For some reason, that heavy band, I haven't found a heavy band that's like not too heavy. I don't know if that's supposed to be like 100 pounds or what's going on. All right, we're gonna switch in five, three, two, one. All right, let's switch it. And I forgot to tell you at the beginning what weights I'm using, but I have my 10 to 15 pound dumbbells. I'll probably stick to the 15 pound dumbbells. Um, but feel free to go heavier if you have heavier or go, go lighter. We got it. Very excited for this one. We love a good uh, booty workout. We do. And summertime coming around. Let's go. Five, three, two, one, all right, go ahead and take off that resistance band. I'm gonna pick up my 15 pound dumbbells and we're gonna go straight into some Romanian deadlifts. All right, so hinge hips back and then come up. We're here for 45 seconds. And I like to do that activation um, set before we get into the heavy lifting, just to kind of Tell the buns that they need to warm up. All right, put them in the oven. Preheat the oven, I guess, and then put them in the oven. Come on, reach, reach, reach. Five, oh, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna start with the left leg. We're gonna go for a weighted donkey kick. I'm putting the 10 pound dumbbell in the bend of my knee, and I'm kicking it straight up here. All right, join me in two, one, and go right here. So I'm keeping my knee bent and I'm actually squeezing a little bit as well when I kick this dumbbell up, All right? So this is really getting that bottom glute area. Come on. Then after this, we'll go back to those deadlifts and then we'll switch to the right side. Let's go five, three, two, one. Great job. Okay, I'm gonna throw that dumbbell to the side. Back with my 15s. Can we do that Romanian deadlift one more time, okay? So feet are about shoulder width apart. Make sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades back, tucking the glutes under. Let's go. If you can see me from the side, I'm making a triangle shape with my body, keeping the dumbbells super duper close. Always making sure that I'm driving my hips first. So that's the first point of action. When I get to the bottom, I'm thinking about my hips. I'm not thinking about my upper body, hips. Five, 
three, two, one. Great job. Okay. So now we're going to put it in our right bend of the knee. For those donkey kicks, and then we go to the next set. Let's go three, two, one. Let's kick it up here. Come on, you're doing good. Halfway there. And don't so much worry about getting it super duper high. Just drive that hill up. Let's go. Five, four, three, yes, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna grab both of my 15 pound dumbbells. We're gonna go for a sumo squat. So feet further the shoulder width apart. Dumbbells in the middle, squat it down here. Okay, two, one, come on. Hinge the hips back, start with the hinge, almost like you were gonna go for a deadlift, and then give me that full squat. seconds and with these weighted movements stuff like getting things toned you don't need to be going super fast try to go down slow and then come up with a little bit of power five three two one all right weighted abductions so I'm gonna put a 10 pound dumbbell right around my hip area so like the widest part of my hip on my right leg, and I'm gonna kick it here, okay? Two, one, like right here. So just put in a little bit of extra resistance. And if you want to, of course, you can throw on your band for this. You got it, come on. Give me a tight hold. Fifteen seconds. Five. Come on, let's get it. Let's get it. Three, two, one. All right. Moving on through. Back to those sumo squats. And like I said, if you have heavier dumbbells, feel free. Move on up. I just work with my 15s today. But don't let me hold you back, honey. Come on. 45 seconds right here. And if you're like me, you only have a couple of pair of dumbbells where you can't go up, think about other ways you can step it up. So can you get a little bit lower? Can you get a little bit more reps without compromising your form? Things like that. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? Let's go five, three, two, one. All right. We're gonna go for the other leg, left leg. And if you have a wall, you can hold onto a wall for some stability when you're doing that. Abduction. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Two, one. Come on. And the lean is fine. A little bit of a lean is cool. Come on. Fifteen seconds, and then we're gonna throw a dumbbell behind our back. Let's go five, 
Three, two, one. Okay. So, like I was saying, we're gonna have the dumbbell behind our back. We're gonna go for a side lunge, half step in, and then go right back out. Okay, so really concentrating on that glute. Let's go. So I'm starting with my left, I'm not coming all the way in. Just kind of pulsing it in and then go right back down. Side lunges, just really try to get as low as possible in that lunge. And also try to keep this leg straight. And if you need a modification, stay wide stance and then go here. Five, three, two, one. Okay. So I was just moving my left leg. That is going to be the leg that I put my dumbbell in. The bend of the knee again. This time we're gonna go for a fire hydrant. And you're gonna open up here. All right. Two, one. So driving that knee up away from the other knee. Engaged core. And this one again, if you don't feel comfortable putting that dumbbell there right now, go ahead and throw on that resistance band. Almost there, almost there. Five, keep it working. Three, two, one. Amazing job. Now we're just gonna head to the other side. I'm gonna use my right leg this time for that side lunge half step. But if you need to use your left to use the right the first time, do that. Let's go. Nice and low. We'll come all the way in. I think I was coming in too far just now. Come on. Lift off. Kind of point that toe. Right back. Ten seconds. Five. Two. One. All right. Same leg there. That was moving. That was my right. I'm going for that fire hydrant. All right. Three. Two. One. We'll lift. Taking off. Like a rocket. I'm not going to sing Rocket by Beyonce. It's not very appropriate right now. But. <laughs> well, maybe it could be. Let me sit this. No, 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 no. Not appropriate. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. We got it. 15 seconds. Let's go three. Two, one, all right, picking up both of my 15 pound dumbbells. Going for a sumo deadlift. So your feet are firm and shoulder width apart, just like in that sumo squat. But this time, we're gonna hinge it back and then come up, all right? So go down for about three seconds, power up. Sumo deadlift, the difference is I'm going back and I'm not squatting, all right? So the difference between this Looking from the side, this and this. Okay, I almost tipped over. Come on. And a little Q tip for your deadlifts you want to go as low as your hips and your hamstrings will let you. Because once you go too low, you're no longer able to stretch those hamstrings or 
Toot the hips back. You're gonna involve your back. Three, two, one. I'm gonna start with my left leg. We're gonna go for either a staggered deadlift. So left leg is in front, right leg is slightly behind, deadlift stands, then come up, or you can float that back leg. All right, two, one, come on. Every level you're at, either way you're focused on that power. I like to find a spot, concentrate on it. Come on. And after this, we're gonna go for that two minute burnout. I was hitting that at the beginning that we're also very, very excited for. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Okay, one more time. You can sit them down real quick, shake it out. Last time through the set, we're going for that burn now. We in it, we in it, okay? This ain't part of the workout, but it's part of mine. Two, one, let's go. Two more deadlifts. I don't know, I'm just kind of person where I'm not even a person who really loves attention, but for some reason in the gym, I know that me dancing is going to bring attention to me, but I can't help myself. I can't help myself. Ooh, y'all heard that note? That was crazy. Let's go 15 seconds. So when I'm in a mood to move my body, especially when my playlist is fire, what can I say? I'm a whole other person. Five, three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna go with my right leg this time for that single leg deadlift, okay? So you're either gonna be staggered or floating. Two, one, come on. Still squeezing those shoulder blades. And if you notice, one leg is a little bit stronger or more stable than the other. That's me too. For me, it's my left. My right's a little bit. It's getting shaky over here. It's getting scary. That's okay. We're just getting better. 10 seconds. Five. Two. One. Okay. So, go ahead and throw on that resistance band, okay, right above your knee. I'm gonna go with my 15 pound dumbbell. We're gonna do a minute of glute bridges. So you're gonna push it up here. All right, join me. Tuck the glutes under, make sure those knees are out. They should never touch. And this is where you work for what you want. You came to this tone glutes workout because you wanted to tone your glutes. You wanted to have a higher booty. Don't lie, you wanted to be a little bit more firm. So that I deserve everything you desire, yes, but with a little bit of work, okay? In 15 seconds, we're gonna come up and hold, all right? You can do this. Let's go five, three, two, one. Come up and hold right here. Okay, just concentrate on squeezing. Concentrate on squeezing the glutes together. So it's like something is in between. I'm not gonna say what, I don't wanna get too graphic, but you really have to hold it together. That's where the work comes in. Not so much as high as you can get your hips. It's not really about that. It's more so about how hard can you squeeze. Three, two, now we're gonna go for a pulse right here. Okay, and again, how bad do you want it? How bad 
do you want to tone your glutes? That's what we're thinking about right now with this pulse and with this last 15 seconds. We're escaping to the place that we desire. We are envisioning what we want out of life in this workout. Okay, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Take off that resistance band. Look at that, look how I talked you through that. See, you didn't even realize we was working out, huh? I'm gonna stretch you out for one minute. Don't go anywhere, okay? I just, I work this in, so bend that front leg, okay? Just go as low as you can and stretch out that glute. So I have my right leg in front, and just stretch it out here if you can. Bend it over. Great job today, great job today. I know that last part was tough, was suffering me too. I was talking through it because I wanted to talk myself up. I also want to talk you up too. All right, let's switch it. So my leg doesn't go, doesn't bend a whole bunch either. My left glute is super tight. It's a great, great glute stretch for you. Remember, stretching is just as important as the workout. Anytime you stretch, just think about the time of releasing, the time of appreciation. Let's hold for about 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. All right. And let's bring it up one leg at a time. I just want you to stay down here for a hamstring stretch. And you really, really stretch out those hamstrings. When you get those hamstrings nice and loose, you'll be able to go a little bit lower on those deadlifts. If you find that you're stopping like right above your knee or something like that, most likely it's because you have a really, really tight hamstring. And your hamstrings support the glutes. So really, really to make sure they're all stretched out. Great job. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Amazing, amazing work today. You deserve everything that you desire. Like I was saying, envision it, manifest it every single day. Write down, this is what I tell my clients when it comes to mindset. Write down who you wanna be. Write down, so let's say um, you wanna be a doctor, okay? I want you to envision yourself being a doctor by saying every single day to yourself in the morning as the person who you want to introduce yourself as. So let's say your name is, I don't know, Miranda. That's my sister's name. My name is Miranda and I am a doctor. That's how you'll introduce yourself. My name is Miranda every single morning. And that is how we're going to teach our minds, teach our subconscious mind to learn who we are. Cause it doesn't know who it is yet, but you need to introduce us to that person. And then you're just gonna keep working towards it. Okay, you deserve that. If you enjoyed this workout, you gotta get burned in on those glutes. Mine are still burning right now. Join the piece of fitness community. Join the tribe by subscribing. I post workouts weekly for you. Um, like the video comment what you liked about it, comment what you want to see in the future, and until next time, I do my little dance, I can't wait until next time, but until then, I'm out y'all, peace.